Hello students, welcome in this lecture of 9th standard. Now in this online session, today we are going to take one of the beautiful lesson about a beautiful mind that is about the Einstein. Now the word beautiful itself designs the whole theory, the whole theory on the basis of concept where you can understand the cuteness of the information or we can say that okay, the new level of the inventions. In the world right now we see many or maximum kinds of the inventions but actually they belongs to they belongs to from the ancient time from the uh, primitive man or we can say that women or many other theories but have you ever wondered that the word genius the word genius has been given to some of the categorized people only why then also we can say that okay, why the genius word has given only to the categorized people this is also one of the concept to think about whenever we are thinking about this kinds of theories and lessons we remember some of the name of some perfectionals or we can say that the people who created something the people who gave something in the new era or the people who gave footprints to the new era to walk on that here so this lesson is all about a person as i mentioned the name that is albert einstein and he has created not only the formula of e equal to mc square but also he has described the meaning of that and also how to understand that what amount of light speed mass velocity can be somehow derived onto a single formula so today we are going to learn about the man the lesson which is also depending upon the same person that is albert einstein see my dear student do you think about some of the geniuses and if you think that this name could be coming in your conscience you must be remembering this kinds of name here as he was father of we can say maths and physics too here he is also known as the best civilian of his own time a best awarded person of his own time so in this theory we can say that okay, we all know and about we all have read about a young german scientist as i have mentioned you here civil servant who gave his theory to the war also and to who also gave a theory that we are not to do war because war is not peace and peace is not for the war peace is a different kind of categorized uh, motion of the living people or we can say it's a theory and war is a different kind of thing which we don't want to have it out here so therefore moving further if we start this lesson you can see that okay, he took the world on the storm about the 100 years ago or we can say that okay, why why he took the world into storm as i written here he took the world onto a storm about 100 years ago because just because we can say that okay, he was creating some kinds of different thing he was relating with some kinds of different theories that's why he took the world on the storm a new era generated a new motion generated a new kind of theory generated and also we need to understand that whole of the world was going on a different level of the exhibition or we can say that a different level of the inventions where einstein was leading that here so some of the theories of the Einstein can be understood which is not related to the textbook about his own personal life and most of the things are related to this lesson. That is the lesson number 4 as I am writing here a truly beautiful mind here. So my dear student you can see on the page number that is written mentioned over the blackboard that is page number 46 to 48 where I am going to make you understand about this basic chapter and the theories about the chapter related to the information to here so in this chapter we can say that okay, we shall now read about the einstein as you know that einstein was relating with a, a class of category where his dad and mom were not supportive towards him now why they were not supportive towards him just because we can understand ki he was a person who was struggler at that time he was a struggling person in his college days, in his general days, in his other lifestyle days. He was just struggling. That's why he was generally not supported by his parents. Maximum. Albert Einstein was born on the 14th March 1879. As you can see, the board has mentioned the date also. And apart from that, in the German city. Now, the city of Ulam that you need to remember, my dear students. And after that, if we go more further in the detail of his theory, then it is said that okay, without any kind of indications that he has destined for a great work or we can say he has destined for a greatness of his own life and theory. On the contrary basis, he was just like a simple child of his mother. So the mother thought Albert was a freak. Now what is the meaning of freak? 
frequency is a child who is not a proper child who is just like say, sounding like a handicap and he is not about to work he is not about to speak something he is not about to uh, do all the work properly and he is also not about to do some kinds of general activities to here because einstein when he got birth he was living alone <clears throat> he was not making his more friends he was not speaking also some time and most of the time he was just relating with his own work so in this theory we can say that on the contrary basis mother thought that he must be a freak so to hear his head seemed much too large also now what was another thing his head seems too large now your and my heads could be in the similar size but here we can say that about the einstein's head the brain of the einstein was quite larger enough in the uh, generally basis compared to the other people or the other kids here about his age so therefore at the age of two and a half we need to understand at the age of two and a half einstein was still talking it, it was like um, uh, general talking only with him he was not making any sound to utter outside whatever he was talking was talking by his own self and there was not a zero amount of sound also not a single amount of sound to hear it was zero frequency here it means that he was just like a dumb guy he was just like a, a, a small guy who is unable to speak a tongueless guy you can call it out like that now what was the reason behind that that is somehow we can say it's like a mystery till the date here so if you go more further he uttered everything twice when he became at the age of eight so at the age of we can say two and a half einstein still wasn't working uh, to talk here and somehow when he finally did to learn speak he uttered everything twice now everything twice means if, if he wanna call his father he can call father father i i want one two two go go out out side side like this he was repeating everything twice in the dual time and therefore if you go more further finally did he learn to speak slowly and he uttered but everything twice as i said you and moving further einstein did not know actually he was not knowing that what to do with the other children how to play with them how to make friendship with them how to deal with the general games of the theories and also he was actually uh, making himself apart from that that's why his playmates that's why his playmates were calling him a boring person a person who is so much consisting of boredom so he was a boring person according to the playmates of einstein same as my dear students if you go on further he was so youngest person or we can say he was a youngest played uh, uh, person who was not attaching himself with the other so he was playing with the other young kids or uh, the smaller age kids with him or we can say the kids who are not supported to play with other people were playing with the einstein here so actually in this theory of the german scientist who was named as einstein his lifestyle starting in the phrase is quite different here and it is different means it is quite uh, tricky or we can say that it is quite a uh, uh, sounding like uns, uh, unfamiliar it's like a strange because if your childhood if i talk about if my childhood if i talk about we all are having some different stories but the stories are having some kinds of relativity in that <clears throat> but einstein's theory and his story his childhood his all the nature belief every concept of this theory we can say that was quite different related to him here so we can say that okay, much of that time he especially loved mechanical toys now what is the meaning of mechanical toys see my dear student mechanical toys means the toys which are actually not a digital they are working by the mechanized system for example the students or the parents or whatever the people who have got their birth in 90s 80s and all they must be knowing what are the mechanical toys putting key we need to pull the key and then the toy will move on like that kind of toys he were playing here so he was mechanically interested in that kind of toys here apart from that we can say look in looking in his uh, in this lesson there is a there is a lesson uh, there is a part also there's a line here in which i'll read out here looking to its uh, we can say <coughs> cousin or we can say that okay, uh, at the time when he was looking to the people nearing to him he was asking some of the questions related how they are born like uh, why they are here why they talk here these kinds of conditions and these kinds of questions were handled by these parents by his parents and they were puzzled also at the time so if you move further we can say that he much of the time he especially loved the mechanical toys as i said you and looking at his newborn sister maza he is said to have he is said that <coughs> he said that okay, fine but where are the wheels of the baby here means when he saw his newborn uh, we can say uh, that uh, you can say newborn sister maza as the name is given there he is asking mother where is the wings of this girl where is the wings then the question was from the mother why she needs a wing 
actually my helicopter is having a wing my mechanical plane is having the toy plane is having the wings where is her wings the headmistress once told his parents also they called him about his father that what einstein chose a profession wouldn't matter because he will never make success in anything so he was called by his parents okay he was called uh, by his headmaster to his parents and the parents were called and at the time we can say that like uh, the teacher said or the headmistress head principal said of the school that sir your child is a good child he is an obedient child but as far as if we go more further he will not succeed in any business he will not do thing in any business because he is actually relating with this kinds of theories where we can say that he is actually having a different brain a different categorized brain he will not succeed it is not the matter where he is selecting his subject it is the matter where he is not going to attend that subject he will not succeed in that subject it was a clear shine from the headmistress that the boy is proper dumb boy a boy is a proper fool boy and a mindless boy according to the theory so if you go more further he will never make success in anything was committed predicted assured by the headmistress einstein began learning the piano as you know that but his interest of piano went away and he moved to the violin now when he is moving to the towards the violin at the age of 6 you need to remember violin at the age of 6 because of his mother wanted to become at least a violin player at least he can own his own daily wages so therefore later he can become gifted amateur or violinist also so therefore maintaining the skill throughout fullness of his life mother was trying to make him to go in the violin section of the instrument here so in this theory we can understand clearly that the person who is actually known today as a genius was some day was somehow accepted as the craziest person or we can say that he was also he was generally known as the mad person of his classroom this is a clear sign where we need to understand my dear student that whatever you think about any person like the person who made this theory made this formula e equal to mc square whatever you think for any person is not going to have remain permanent it's change it is consisting some kinds of change and that change will be taken after some time or we can say by the passing of the time here so albert was not a bad pupil in short i can say that albert was not a bad pupil and he went to the high school in the munich and where he actually uh, somehow we can say that he was actually learning but his family had to move when he was just 15 old or we can say when uh, generally moved when he was just 15 months old and scored somehow the good marks almost in the every theory so in this case we can say that einstein hated the school regime he was not going to attend the school regime and same as he was also hating the teachers but somehow he was loving some of the subject here not all the subject but some of the teachers but most of time if it go more further here the lesson depending on the einstein most of the time if it go more further he was clashing with his teacher and what is the meaning of clash clash means he was just quarreling with his teacher asking the questions asking the theories and all so he was thinking that his questions and theories will be giving some better answer from the teachers here so therefore we can say ki einstein was actually not attached only on the all subject he was attached only on the sub kind of subjects where he was having some kinds of interest here so we can say at the age of 15 einstein felt so stifled means we can say that he was feeling so uncomfortable and so uh related with the theories of mechanical world or we can say light theories and all at the age of 15 einstein felt so stifled that there he left school for the good year and what he have, he did he actually left the school and uh, he actually went on to do some kinds of different theories different exploring things and therefore here we can say the previous year albert parent had moved to milan because the he was living alone actually and also his parents were moving to milan and left their son with the relative leaving the son with the relative will affect the brain as i have made you to understand here brain consists of different parts here now affecting the brain means he can be mentally or, uh, becoming ill or we can say that he can be mentally not feeling well or he can be mentally traumatized also he can go into the trauma so that is the condition where i can say that ki einstein got his wish to continue his uh, education in germany speaking switzerland and also in the city which he was more liberal than munich here liberal means what 
if he wants to leave his college for a couple of days, couple of weeks, he can go there. So he selected to study in the Germany. Einstein was highly gifted in the mathematics as you can see on the blackboard. Now why Einstein was highly gifted by the mathematics? Actually see my dear student, his world of physics, his world of relative theory of the maths was somehow attracting him since he was a baby child. So there we can say that Einstein felt so good with the maths here and in the previous year Einstein was highly gifted inside the mathematics and interested in the physics too as I have mentioned you. So also we can say after finishing the school he was thinking to do something more greater. So he decided generally to study at the University of Zurich. Where he studied he started to study into the University of Zurich to get the graduation. See in the life whenever we are actually wishing to accomplish some kinds of theories, detailed concept and some kinds of goal, we need to take some different decisions, risky decisions and the decisions which can be relating with our birth means what is the reason for our birth? We need to ask why we are taking the decision, why we are on this level of the point, we need to decide that. So that is only the meaning thing, the meaning, uh, we can say the remaining and the the best thing about the decision taking part of any person's life here your life my life or anybody's life we need to select a decision so therefore as a young man okay, he was actually now entered he has entered into the university of Zurich. but science wasn't the only thing that appealed to be dashing to young man with his walrus mustache here not only science most of the other related subject was also there where einstein was hitting his heights with a walrus moustache. Walrus moustache means what? He was having a great big moustache. As he was uh, not giving time to groom himself, himself, he was always related with the theory of maths and physics, then laws, formulas, everything. So we can say that okay, this is the general theory where the Einstein was relating with this kind of theory equal to mc square where he can decide that okay, E stands for the energy and for the mass. Okay, therefore C for the speed light into the vacuum and therefore he can decide something more better things here see my dear student one thing is very very much pretty sure and clear also if you actually think to do something more greater more better and also more advanced level you need to sacrifice something einstein did the same thing he was sacrificing his most of the lovable things as well you know that he was left alone by his parents to here so we can say he also felt special interest in the fellow student Melivia Marek. Now who was Melivia Marek? Let me make you understand here. She was also studying in the same Zurich University where she was also practicing the same thing related with the Einstein and doing the experiment together, uh, project work together and many more things together. He fell in love with that girl and he was feeling very very much interested because he found that the girl was looking same like her he means not by the facial expression my dear student don't be don't be confused actually the thinking capacity and the working ability was somehow related with these two guys the girl also and the boy the einstein also here so we can say he was relating with this kinds of superb idea so if we go over further by the students about the lifestyle of Einstein, Albert Einstein, we can understand that he was a fun loving person and a hard working too here. And same as if we go more further, then we can say that okay, this young superb couple or we can say this, this young Serb from the Switzerland because of the university in Zurich was on the few in the European women could get degrees. Einstein saw in her all the ally against the philanthropists also and those the people in his family at the university with whom he was constantly at the odds here. He was feeling a different kind of guy in the university. But when he found this girl, he saw that yeah, at that time most of the girls are not going to the university. But this girl is actually coming from a like a Switzerland farm or we can say Switzerland family. So she is actually relating with this kinds of uh, new theories, college level of the higher education and all that's good here because at that time girls were sent very less to the school. So he was impressed by her performance also and by her beauty too here. So therefore we can say let us survive in the put their own affection into the words here. Let us survive means what you know. 
say today in the 2020 we can say 2020 uh, generally if you want to transport some kinds of message we generally transport the masses through the internet media we transport the masses through the social media text messages whatsapp uh, there are lots of kinds of applications are there in the ancient time there was no application to share the feelings so there was a letter the letter was there it was a slow process but it was there so letters survive in which they put their affection they put their feeling into the words mixing science with the tenderness mixing science with the tenderness means what you know the words were relating with the heart emotion but it was designed in a calculative theory inside a scienceful theory formulating theory so Einstein was trying to impress that now wrote Einstein how happy and proud one letter I'll read out here here about the Einstein that he's writing okay Einstein wrote how happy and proud I shall be when we both have bought together when we both have brought together our work on the relative to a victorious conclusion I'll feel very glad in that if you both work together if you both uh, uh, if you both are bought together to do some kinds of new theories and new uh, new kinds of some informations or we can say if you will be sitting together for new kinds of practicals it will be great enough here so in the 90s if you talk about in the 900 at the age of 21 in the 900 of the year at the age of 21 Einstein was a university graduate means he got his qualification degree as well we can say that but he was unemployment See my dear students, employment, unemployment are single coin, two side. Remember one thing, the two sides of a single coin, employment, unemployment, which are rolling together. Employment is actually one of the theory which is working since ancient time. Same as unemployment is also one of the theory which is working from the ancient time. So here we can say Albert Einstein was university graduate but he was unemployed. He worked as a teaching assistant, gave private lessons for the final, secured a job in 1902. Just after passing year 1900, he went in the 1902 for the job here as a technical expert in the patent office in the Bern. He got a position. So what he did? Before he got the position, Einstein was teaching to the general students. Einstein was teaching to the students who were getting mathematical theories were difficult or who can say that uh, physics theory is difficult. So he was teaching them as a personal tutor. But after 1900, struggling for the one and a half year, after the two years, he became a technical assistant in the burn as an uh, we can say as an employer he became so now he got his job but then also we can say that while he was supposed to do his job or while he was supposed to do all the kinds of ascending people other inventions means he was promoting inventions of the other people he was like an invention developer it's a simple thing he was like an invention developer so while ascend while he was actually relating with the inventions he was thinking that why shouldn't i do my kinds of invention in this theory why should i go on the my kinds of information in this theory so he was thinking about greater better proper so therefore we can say that now einstein was moving on a path of the brink where we can say that he was relating with the theory concept of the where he needed to develop his own theories so if you go more further we can say that while he was supposed to be assisting other people he turned his own idea in the secret corner now these are the basic thing relating to the personality who are known as genius or the great people why i will make you understand see my dear student whenever you are actually working for any person and you have some kinds of talent you should not keep that talent inside the dustbin secretly you need to go and you need to you need to polish that out here one day the people could they will also learn that huh after doing some kinds of general day, days basic work if a person is still making alive to his talent it's a greatness of his own gratitude so therefore we can say that here okay, he also had a small desk drawer which he called his office or we can say bureau so theoretical physical examples theories relative equations and many more things was generally studied by him there and he was also deriving some kinds of formulas as you know that einstein is also somehow known as the father of maths and physics where his mind was relating in the childhood days about the mechanical theories so 
these kinds of general information we are getting from the textbook here about the Einstein. I'll give you the basic theories, means detailed life history theories also in this lecture. So you just need to focus while I'm teaching you. So therefore, if you go more further, we can say that ki one of the famous paper means one of the fa famous newspaper that was of 1905. Einstein's special theory about relativity. Now, what is relativity? Let me define you. Uh, relativity means like any kind of motion is there okay with the speed or we can say with the light that can be having some kinds of relative theories so if you go more further the relativity theories of the einstein was also related in this newspaper or we can say in this relativity theory in the distance which are approved by him which is not absolute here so therefore two perfectly accurate clock will not continue according to him two perfect accurate clock will not continue to show the same time if they come closer together after taking a journey of whole of the world or we can say moving very fast to the other part of the world here so from this followed the world's most famous formula which describe that the relationship between mass and energy can be tagging different here that is e equal to mc square see according to his formula according to his formula he says that it two perfectly two perfectly accurate clock will not continue to show the same time if they come closer together again after a journey if they have been if they have been moving very fast related to the other here means if you if you just generate the speed speed of one watch means not the speed inside the analog watch but if you take that watch and you walk more faster or you drive more faster to the another part of the world and if you will come back to the same place here you will find the stationary watch and the moving watch are having different time it means that the effect of we can say the effect of pressure the effect of vacuum the effect of light effect on that and therefore the time is also not accurate there so therefore he gave the formula e is equal to mc square that is the energy and the mass and the speed of light can be somehow relative theory but the answer could be different here so he is also giving his general basic you can say that like a, a general pet theory also if the students those are not understanding how this is happening then he is actually trying to make you understand and which is also written inside the textbook which you can see out here so on the page number 48 he is telling that when you sit with a girl when you sit with a nice girl nice girl doesn't mean the nice with the beauty it means actually the girl who is very interesting she's talking well she is giving you some kinds of good thought so if you sit with a nice girl for two hours it seems like two minutes same as when you sit with a stove for two minutes it seems about the two hours so that's the relativity he is explaining the relative theory in his own language if you sit with a girl who is good enough then you will be not uh, means you will not see the time and the time will just flow and if you sit with a stove hot stove you will calculate the time when i should go when i should go when i should go i'm sweating when i should go so that's a general thing where he is actually deriving his theory here see my dear students maximum and the modern kind of theories are relating in this textbook here but if we go more further apart from the general jokes and theories we can say that einstein was a genius and he was not only relating with a genius but actually he was a genius so if you go on the 10th paragraph of this textbook here 49 page number you can see that okay, while einstein was solving the most difficult problem in the physics while einstein was solving the most difficult problem in the physics he was also somehow relating to his private life okay his private life which he was actually relating with but it was unrevealed it was not under revealing so it was going more in detail by his own life here so we can say that okay, he was actually relating with his personal lifestyle also and after a few years it came out here so if you go more further albert had wanted to marry some girl one of the girl now who was the girl can you guess it out the same girl who studied with him in the jurist university and he was practicing with her remember i made you to understand the letters the letter survived between them he was fallen in love with the same girl here so he was thinking that this girl is the my life partner and she can give me better life she's understanding actually so finally she thought also and she thought melivia means we can say that the mother of einstein thought that melivia is not a good girl she's older than einstein she will dominate her 
she will rule her so she is not a fine girl for einstein and he should not marry her so therefore she thought melibia who was third or we can say who was three year older than her son was too older for him and therefore she is a book like you she told that melibia can be ruling you in the negligence she is more intelligent than you intelligent than you so his mother said that she is like a book like you will just read about her you will not understand her she is older than you she is elder than you more than 3 years old so therefore we can say einstein put the wedding off means he actually discontinues his, his wedding on the year but finally we can say that the pair finally married in 1903 how fast he is going you can understand in 1900 he got his graduation okay and he became a gratitude person then in the 1902 he got his job as a technical assistant and 1903 he got married to the girl same studying with him in the college here so he had two sons now two kids also he got so the life is going very fast enough but few years later the marriage flattered flattered means the marriage broke up into the problems now when the marriage is broken up into the problems there are many kind of questions arising at the time here so einstein broke with her with a problem melivia meanwhile was losing her intellectual ambitions and becoming an unhappy housewife intellectual ambition means actually melivia also wanted to become a great genius scientist but due to the marriage kids husband wife and all relationship she was actually not giving attention towards her general life as well einstein was also busy in his own life and was not giving attention towards the wife here therefore the relation could not stand for a longer time and they broke up means it was like a break up between them a divorce relation between them here so becoming a housewife she was unhappy so after the year of the constant fighting constant fighting means word fighting we can say uh, like it is not good between them they are always having some queries questions arguments uh, we can say agitations and many more things here so in the year 1919 einstein and the melivia marie got divorced so einstein married his cousin elsa same year einstein was not a bad person guy he was living with a very good things of his life here and he was enjoying his life so at the same year he gave the divorce to the first wife and he went to the second wife who was her own his own cousin now what is the name of the cousin that i will make you understand in the other lecture but somehow i can say that you have heard the name that is elsa that is the same year he married elsa in 1919 see my dear student this is the same year 1919 where the germany was faced into the war and the hitler came there so you should not forget this kinds of general theories okay so this lesson was still here only we will meet you in the second part and i will make you understand that how nicely now the lesson will be going towards the second interval here the einstein got his theory here the einstein got his job he married a girl 1903 and 1919 he gave the divorce to that girl the girl is also happy separated from einstein and einstein is also happy getting a new life partner elsa and now what will happen in the next theory of the story that will see in the next part till then you can take care keep watching this lesson wait for the next part thank you jai hind